Hey, look, the friendly little fire geckos are coming to say hi. Ah! Help! Help! Wait a second. That's not how you say hi. We're just trying to breathe fire on you. That's how we say hello. What a shame. Now I feel kind of bad. Nah, not really. They're fire geckos. Just in here, huh? Yeah, should be unoccupied according to our source, who is that man, but I'm still gonna have my shotgun ready. Fair enough. Uh... Ah! What in the hell just happened? Ah, great. I'm wearing slave robes. Uh-oh. A para... Oh my god, I can't use melee weapon. What the f... <laughs> what? What just happened? Well, someone stripped you of all your clothes. Uh, oh, great. All I have is this big stupid pariah blade. Oh, no. Oh, man. Well, don't worry. We've got guns. We'll cover you. Found you. Hello. <laughs> well, Zach, I guess you're getting some melee training today. Okay, this weapon hits like a freaking truck, though. What the f... I feel like I shouldn't have done what I just did. What the actual hell just happened? What is going on? What the? Hello? Am I the only one here? I'm gonna push this one. Oh, thank God I can leave. There you are. Ah! No, I don't desire this! Please leave me alone! This is some total BS. I don't even want to be here. Destroy! Can I block guns with a sword? Oh my god, I can't do it! There's three ants at this one, five ants at that one, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So by that logic, there probably should be one with four. One. Two. And now push this one. Hey, I'm so smart. Excuse me. Ow, 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 ow. Still burning, still burning. No, please. My God, this thing's about as effective as a hair dryer. Good Lord. It's just been ridiculous. I wonder if I could have just jumped in there and not been on fire anymore. That would have been convenient. So far, I do not like anything I've seen here. I wish I had not taken that man at his face value when he said that it was abandoned. I should have been like, oh gee, I wonder why it's abandoned. But no, no, I just had to go wandering in. Oh God, what the fuck? Okay. We're just not going to address what happened there. I totally didn't just fall. I totally just didn't fall over climbing up a hill. This maze is like some kind of maze. What? I'm having to. Sorry, I just felt like taking a nap there. Will? Will? Willow? 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 Oh my God! Ah! God! Jesus Christ! Willow, don't scare me like that. I've been going up for hours and this goes nowhere! Do I have to take the side path? Is it a seat? Ah-ha-ha-ha! Oh, hey Zach. How's it going? It's better now that I've found you guys. Yeah, well, I'm uh, naked and my wrist has become disembodied. Ah, I had to do a math puzzle. Oh god, I hate math puzzles. How hard was yours? Was yours just counting to six? Yeah? Oh, did you do the same one? Oh, yeah. Ah! Set him on fire! I don't have a fire gun, but okay! Why are, I don't know who Kath Llama is, but they've got some stupid worshippers. Kath Llama is dumb. Normally I like llamas because they're fun and neat. Uh, still haven't found Veronica, though. I don't know where Veronica is. Sure, I'm she, sure she's fine. She'll be all right eventually. She's probably ripping and tearing through mutants on her own terms. Yeah, she did. Oh, for God's sake. Another one of these? <laughs> this never ends. You picked up a firearm, did you? Yes, a gun. Zach, look down. You're finally armed. Why You're is my arm invisible? All right, let's push this button. 
gonna Oh kill god, you. something bad happened! I don't believe that. Jump, 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 jump! Blam! Took him out! Oh, everyone disappeared again. Oh, I'm back here? Pushing that button did nothing! Button, button, who's got the button? What? Willow, what did that do? Ah! Willow, kill him! Oh my god, Willow's on fire! Hey, I could use a hand over here! I'm trying! Yeah! Nice work, Willow! High five! Okay, you're giving me the cold shoulder. I understand. I'm sorry. I did the best I could. Oh, what the hell? Bells! Oh, no, lamps! Is that it? That did nothing. I only have 17 bullets left. Oh, man, I should have grabbed a bunch of ammo from Mike when he was here. This looks different. What say you, sacrificial altar? Oh, Willow, you're... Hey, I got teleported here! Oh, hi, Mike! Intruder. Who, me or Willow? Or Mike? Begun from Kathlava's pedestal. Oh! God, what the hell just happened? Now die. Please, no, I don't wish to die. Okay, just killed a few more mutants. No big deal. No big deal. Mike, kill them. Uh, alternatively, we could just. Oh, oh, I guess we can't run away. Ooh, that one's got a pillar. <laughs> I did. You are too late. Kathlava is rising. Who? What? Oh god, I'm on fire! What? It's a giant plant? So we're being attacked by a giant plant now. <laughs> Luckily, it was made of paper. Nope. And we're back. Okay, that wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy that. Veronica, thank god you're here. You would not believe the stupid adventure we just went on. Nine mil round, bobby pin, a note that says, damn it all. Of oh, the signal focuser. This is Jenny Taylor. I've really gone and fucking done it this time. Long road, dangerous fate indeed. I thought I had it all planned out, and a cave-in traps me in here with nothing useful but a damn radio. At least now they won't get this signal focuser back. I saw what they were doing back there. May well save some lives by taking it from them. Maybe now my life will admit something after all. If there ever was a list of the most appropriate last words anybody's ever said, these would rank near the top. Fuck you, Ben Tessa. But hey, we got all three items now. Oh. Hey, we're free! Ugh, I didn't want that mushroom anyway. I have no idea what was going on there, or why the Oblivion emblem was on those things. <laughs> there you are. Let me tell you about the weird-ass day I have had. How's that job going? Could be a lot better. Here's a single focus, sir. Good work. I'm sorry you had to make such a menial retrieval, but Cabot insisted that you gather the important components. I got all the components, so now what? Cabot's almost finished constructing his machine. Let's go see if he needs anything else. Okay. I'm sure he will. I'm gonna block him so we can't progress the story anymore. Mike, you stop that! <laughs> John Cabot, how's progress on the machine? The electrical sensing apparatus is almost complete, though I require additional electronic hardware to finish up the wiring. Didn't I order a shipment of scrap electronics? The caravan must be running late. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. I hired a caravan from an F.S. Gerald to deliver some scrap electronics for us. Since he's running late, I'm willing to bet he's either been ambushed or is getting drunk at the Atomic Wrangler. Okay. In his case, the latter option seems much more likely. Why don't you go there and see if you can't find him? All right. If he is there, tell him to hurry it up. Okay, let's go find F.S. Gerald and the Atomic Wrangler. The Atomic Wrangler. Come on down to the Atomic Wrangler. We got scrap metal. Ain't going nowhere. Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> we got this lackadaisical man who ain't doing his job at the Atomic Wrangler. What is your favorite part of the Atomic Wrangler? I like the hookers that don't exist but are always <laughs> being advertised. Yes, the <laughs> ones that they advertise constantly that aren't actually there. Mm -hmm. we, got, we, got, we got pans filled with jelly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on down the Atomic Wrangler. We got, uh, uh, we, we got pigeon painting. <laughs> <laughs> always a delight. Howdy. Uh, I bet it's you, considering you're the one that looks different. 
You know there are girls here, right? Once you can pay for sex? You wouldn't do that, would you? Mike and I were just discussing how there aren't girls here, so... No, I, I guess there is the cowboy prostitute. Well, yeah, that one, but no thanks. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Ahem, <clears throat> as we were saying. Excuse me, sir. Why, hello. The name is Felix Scott Gerald, also known as Fitzgerald. What can I do for you? What do you do, Fitzgerald? Well, I am a cavern here. I dare say the best to have a room of Marvy. Have you heard the story of the Iron Cavern? That was based on me. Nope, haven't heard of it. You have heard of me, haven't you? You wouldn't happen to be a major, would you, F.S. Gerald? I don't get that. Major Fitzgerald? He's a Oh, is that from the one of the other mods we did? Yes, that's exactly right. A uh, uh, word really does get around, doesn't it? <laughs> one day I'll be bigger than the Crimson Caravan and the Fargo Traders combined. You mark my words. Oh, but enough of my rambling. Was there anything else you needed? John Cabot's waiting for a shipment in North Vegas? Oh, I'm incredibly sorry. I completely forgot. I'll get right on it. Just uh, one more drink. Sure. Say, why don't I just send Pulsey over? Pulsey, I need you to deliver that shipment of scrap electronics to the old house to the north, you know? Where Richard's staying. Uh, now where was I? Oh uh, yes, Garrett, another drink, please. That I'm the best caravanier in the world, but I'm late and I'm drunk and I'm making other people do work for me. Boy, I sure am good at this. All right. Ah, oh, crap. What the hell is this? We fast travel for five minutes. Ah, oh, Poolsy, what happened? What ah, the- shit, I'm glad to see you. Get over here. Fuck, we got trouble. The scientist, they took him. What? Who took him? He was taken by the vipers and the wine wasters. They took him to an old factory to the south. You have to go after them. Do I? I come with you, but I'm not in the best of health right now. You have to go now. Hurry. Fine, I'll go. Good. Uh, don't die, though, I guess. If, yep. you, if you can help it. I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> not that it would be. Hop. I don't remember this being here. Then again, we haven't explored every nook and cranny. Ah, no, we gotta leave. This place is out of order. Hey! Oh, uh, looks like maybe not so much. I <laughs> think it's out of order. I see an AK! Give me it! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, that's not an AK! Oh, it's pretty much a Dragnov. Oh, okay. Bring it! Dragnovs are pretty cool, I think, yeah? <laughs> there we go, that took care of her. It's not a bad sniper rifle. Probably not good for close quarter building clearing. Yeah, though. it's probably not the best place to use it. Ooh, what did he have? Uh, he had a, a homemade assault rifle, which I will take. That might be better for clearing out the rooms. Yeah, probably. Die, 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 die. How many 308 rounds do I have to put into you? Good yeah. lord. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing's a massive piece of crap. <laughs> Is it? What? what it's just a, a hodgepodge of parts, huh? Yes, it's just a bunch of parts that were slapped together haphazardly to make a thing that looks kind of like a gun. That's how the Russians make their weapons, right? They slap parts together and call it good. No, they actually do a decent job building stuff. I immediately do not want this weapon anymore. <laughs> well, I don't like to be shot at by vipers, but I guess we're both doing things we hate. Check the offices. God, forward assist, that doesn't do anything. This weapon's busted. I'm done with it. Oh, Why do you have yeah. boots around your neck? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Ugh. <laughs> he got fucked up! Whoa! <laughs> uh... Hmm. Oh, I better not take those Legion denarius. I don't want the Legion coming after me again. I hear gunfire, and it's not from us. Ooh. Somebody has put a lot of time and effort into, like, setting up this. <laughs> you can take this whole one side! Can you use it as a weapon? Uh, yeah, you totally can! <laughs> In all its low-resolution goodness. You uh, use it like an axe. Four! <laughs> I said four! Four! Oh, you're using a wedge. You're supposed to use a, a wood. Well, this is wood. <laughs> Workplace Automatoys. 
Dear Mr. Haley, it has come to my attention that you have placed in your office a miniature golfing green and part of a golf caddy along with other golfing equipment. Seeing as you have recently been transferred here from New York, I would like to take this opportunity to let you know that your office is not a playroom. Oh my. You have managed to perform adequately thus far, but I am of the opinion that such an inordinate amount of workplace recreational activities will damage your productivity. Shit. Nevertheless, I trust you to make the right call in this situation and will allow this unusual behavior so long as it does not interfere with you or your colleagues' duties. Thank you. Sincerely, your regional director. All activities cease around the waste room, which is the location of an explosion earlier this week. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the incident. Be aware that the BDA, DFL, FBI, and local law enforcement all have to... I'll have full access to the reception and weight room areas for some reason. Cool. That's, that's very odd for a toy factory. But that's incredibly odd. Let's move along. Come on. Four! I'm golfing! Looks like someone brought a sword to a sign fight! I made golf jump. Whoa! Bear's leg! Oh! Yes, bear's leg! Is it a shotgun of sorts? It's a 44 Magnum. So it's the same thing as like the cowboy gun, except that it's real tiny. It's basically a Winchester 1892 lever action rifle that's been cut way down, so it's just a pistol now. Oh, uh, wouldn't that give it a huge amount of recoil? Nah, it's hey. still not bad. Why not? Have you ever fired like a lever action in a pistol caliber? Uh, I, I, I think if you cut the barrel, it makes the recoil worse, doesn't it? Theoretically, but there's still a decent amount of weight to it, so it, it, the recoil is actually not Damn. bad. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited about this mare's leg! I, I, I didn't realize it was one you'd enjoy. Come on! <laughs> stop! Stop shooting us! Come on, we just got knives and swords! This isn't fair! You guys are cheating! Hex! <laughs> Come on! You like that? Ah! <laughs> You like that? This is just more and more and more. You like that? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Fucking frying pan! <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this gun. Oh yeah, you I like that? Want, I just want you to know this, that I'm very much enjoying this 44 Magnum lever action. Alright, I'm glad you like that. Man, this place is just loaded with stuff. That's pretty cool. I, seriously, props to the mod author for like actually setting all this stuff up, because I realize that takes time. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. And it looks really neat. I like the little employee like meeting area they had in here. That's mm, cool. Yeah. I pulled the trigger like three times. <laughs> Why didn't it do anything? What do you call that? My You're... trigger finger seizing up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think either my trigger finger is seizing up or there's so much blood and viscera stuck in the action of my shotgun it doesn't want to pump anymore. Gonna have to swap over to the mare's leg. It's got some kick to it. Bring it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I saw an M4. Ow. <laughs> uh, well. Somebody had a grenade launcher. <laughs> it fired it. <laughs> yeah, that was not smart of someone. How about this door? Pattinson, get out of here right now. We oh. had a deal, damn it. Let me see the prisoner. Oh. You double crossing coward. I know you can fucking hear me. You intimidated? I swear, if you've done something to the captive. Great. He sent down one of his stooges. Just what I needed. Might as well get over here. Let's see what Pattinson's too afraid to say himself. Am I a stooge? Oh, this guy. Don't mind us, we're here in the background. The High Priest has ordained that none shall enter, whereas our interrogation has not yet concluded. Uh, well tell the High Priest that that wasn't part of the bargain. With your crazy rituals, you probably killed him for all I know. Open that door before I do something drastic. I'm afraid that will not be possible in my provocative acquaintance. The Vipers were the primary agents of the capture of this John Cavett. Mm -hmm. You're not at fault for the unfortunate casualty that befell your employee. Besides, in your aggravated state, I sincerely doubt that you would be capable of suppressing your, uh, penchant for violence if we were to allow you to visit our mutual captive. Can you believe this idiot? He thinks he can talk down to me, does he? Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you where you stand and kick down that flimsy fucking door. You heathen. The High Priest wields power beyond your comprehension. The Great Snake guides us to victory. Who are you to stand in our way? Yeah! I mean, no. Alright, that's all I can take. One of you, can you please kill this bastard? If you pay us. You. You're not one of my men. You're that thief who stole my wine. What is <laughs> this, a Mexican standoff? God damn it, get over here, will you? The, uh... Oh, now? Now, <laughs> now is when I enter... Alright, what's up? Get on the platform, then we'll talk. I am! Listen, I'm glad you're here. 
I'm Jerokey, and you're in the right place at the right time, because I have an offer to make you. The truth is, we've been at odds with these Vipers since our operation started up. But when I got news that Pattinson and his goons were about to abduct your scientist friends, I thought, hey, sign me up. I have a bone to pick with that guy, too. So I popped down to your little hideaway in that old house to snatch him. It was a simple grab-and-run operation, you see. I thought we were going to ransom him to you and that detective-looking guy. Yep. Problem is, the Viper spooked a caravaneer passing by, shot up a Brahmin, and ran away with our mark, the Cabot character. Leaving my guys there to deal with a very angry detective. Uh-huh. It spiraled out of control, and I don't know what the hell that Pattinson's is planning now. Probably wants to sacrifice him to the Snake God, or what's it called. Yeah, probably. You've got a great opportunity here. You shoot this insolent prick and help me kill Pattinson, and I let you two leave. No questions asked. No revenge. Even with all you've done to my organization. Interloper, this man is propagating lies again to those of the terrible God Lama of old. Are you foolish enough to believe that he will keep his word after witnessing how he treats those who incur his wrath? Is that lady back there holding a P90? Aiding his violent crusade will only legitimate his brutality. You'll have no incentive to honor his word. Is that a P90? The wretched lies he conjures down upon our esteemed high priest are odious to my ears. But I nevertheless must deliver to you the truth. Uh-huh. You can kill me at this very moment. But if you do so, you'll find yourself in a pit of vipers more deadly than any venom we could affect. Mm, we could just kill you both. However, I would not be standing here if I did not believe in a peaceful solution. The Great Snake gave you this opportunity to prove your worth. We have the liberty to choose a path. Not of conflict, but cooperation. Not of fighting, but friendship. Not of nostrums, but normalcy. Not of nostrils, but anuses. The future can be bright <laughs> if you assist us in de-escalating the situation. Of course, if all else fails, we are willing to extend the same offer to you as Jerokey has. But it need not come to that. Listen here. Either you commit suicide by siding with these religious nut jobs, or you help us out and wipe the slate clean. I'm not a lying psychopath like our eloquent buddy would have you believe, but I can only prove my trustworthiness if you first put trust in me. A man's word is worth something, and I'm giving you mine. So clip this sucker and let's get this over with. You've got the gun. Reason with the man, I beseech you. Do not succumb to temptation. My demise will not grant you true absolution from sin. <laughs> Make your choice now. Us. Or them. What gang do you want to side with? The wine tasters who assaulted us? Or the vipers who assaulted oh, us? Oh, jeez. Uh, also, uh, we stole your gun. Pow, ka-chow, chicka-chicka-boom-boom. -boom. And also, I can tell you it's in your best interest to hear me out. We can fix this yet. Uh, how long is this going to take? I, ooh, a couple options here. You can intimidate him, try mm -hmm. and speech him, or a barter solution that might work. Ooh. Or kill them all. Also, I really want to see if that lady has a P90. If she has a P90, I might have to kill her and take it. <laughs> yeah, we might be siding with you to steal their guns. Well, we'll see. I'm sure you both have things the other doesn't. A trade deal could help you solidify an alliance. A trade deal, huh? Well, maybe there are some things they could offer us, but that depends on what they have. Like wine? P90s? Let's see what they had to say. So, you heard what we said? I wonder if you'll be able to supply us with, say, some fixer. Would the high priest be willing to talk? I'm certain you will be amenable to such a proposition. The vipers shall stand down. I'm glad to hear it. All right, men, at ease. Now let me see Pattinson. Get the details squared away with. You managed it, interloper. This is a great thing you have accomplished. Was now, it? Please follow me. I'm glad we could defuse that situation. Okay, what do you have? What do you have? Those fiend junkies over at Vault. Oh, oh shit, son! Hey. Hang on, hold Those still. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Give to me the P90! Come Give me the P90! Someone find you really want that P90, don't you? Give me the P90! Well, here, Zach, I'll let you in on a little secret. The rescue gun is also the robbery gun. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh no! The rescue gun! The she is a Mewtwo rescue gun! Red Rock Canyon. No! I don't know why you even want the P90 anyway. Ooh, it's an ambidextrous assault rifle. It's not an assault rifle, it's a personal defense weapon! I priest at a reporting. Cherokee has informed me of his desire to parley so as to secure lasting peace between our peoples. As you know, this should be interesting. I trust you are not acting under duress, helping to lead me into a trap? Of course not, no. Hi, Priest, you know my loyalty is infallible. No amount of pressure would force me to betray the new Vipers. Very convincing. Yes, quite right. I'm sorry for doubting you. Very well, I will open the door for him. 
I do insist that I be the very picture of civility, however. Uh. In any case, he should know that things will not end well for him if he does decide to violate this armistice. Open the door before I kill you! There is another matter. The interloper from before is here. He broke in the ceasefire and I expect he will not leave without the captive. Eh, we can take him or leave him. Well, well. Not quite so devoid of morality as I thought. Frankly, this is no longer anything to do with the scientist. I shall talk to the interloper myself before we start the negotiations. The sooner we put this all behind us, the better. Hooray! What well, do you better have a fucking P90? I shall unlock the door. Enter whenever you are ready. I'm ready now! Give me a P90! Well, interloper, at last we meet face to face on equal footing. And this time you are the bearer of good news. Nice to meet you, Raisin Face. Ah, uh, yes. As the great snake quelled his eternal foe, the scoundrel pretender Katlama. So you have subdued a great enemy. I thought that was a hallucination, but okay. Rest assured, we will release John Cabot. After all, this entire ordeal has shown us that holding him is more trouble than benefit. Besides, it is the least we could do to reward the one who managed to cool the fire in Jerokee's heart. And rob him of his gun. No, if you have anything else to tell or ask of me, my ears are open to you. What the hell is this about Kath Lama? You have heard of the monstrous reign of Kath Lama. Yeah. I would never have expected an outsider to show such insight. Yes, he was a dreadful plant being who fancied himself a god. The outcast and ostracized flooded to his ranks, forming into a mighty army. He was a plant. It was only through the combined powers of the great vipers that he was finally defeated. The war against evil, the Gathlama, is a constant one. Yeah, you did great jobs. Six score ago, the avatar of the great snake, a vault dweller, defeated the false idol known as Richard Gray and his mutant followers. Two score ago, the Chosen of the Great Snake saw the destruction of the last major stronghold of the tyranny of the Old World, on the sea. I didn't come here for a history lesson, old man. When the Fallen Empire, still pining after lost glory, reemerged like a cancer on the opposite side of our continent four years ago, <sighs> the Great Snake vested his incalculable power in a lone wanderer, seeing this remnant defeated once and for all. You were probably alive for all of it. We are in an endless struggle against countless aspects of Kathlama. Indeed, that is our destiny. Awesome. Katlama is inexorably encroaching, dead set on obliterating our fragile survival. Only through the Great Snake do we find hope of defeating him. Sounds sexual, but okay. Such is the way of the new Vipers. Our way, and perhaps one day, yours as well. Yeah, no. maybe. So, what are you gonna do now? What's your plan? The new Vipers will never rest, lest we fall into the pit of complacency and decadence that plague the new cons in their dying years. We will continue to grow, expanding our influence while bringing heathens back into the Great Snake's light. Man, why wasn't this in the base game? <laughs> what do you mean? Just the fact that the Vipers are like a weird cult. <laughs> Instead of attacking you on sight. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Interloper, your actions have given me hope. Hope that even those that seem most lost may still follow their moral intuition to virtuous ends. I'm glad we could inspire you. A token of my gratitude. Worm's breath has served me well for many difficult years. Perhaps you'll find use for it as well. If it's an energy weapon, nope. Now go! I see that you're on your own path, sanctioned by the Great Snake. And none can keep you from your destiny. My destiny is to go get a P90. Where is it? Uh, you got Worm's Breath. You've got a different gun now. Maybe I uh, don't want that. Hello, John! I noticed you have your gun there. <laughs> Didn't take it from you. Th that seems odd. Oh, you've come. I was starting to wonder whether I'd make it out of here alive. How the hell did this happen? The caravan carrying the electronic components I needed was just arriving. I was going to receive them when we were attacked. Richard was fighting a few of them off as they carried me away. I hope he's alright. Let's get you out of here. The High Priest Pattinson wanted to hide behind a more secure blast door on the other side of the catwalk, but they couldn't crack the password. Before I came here, I was being hosted by a scientific research group quartered in the Aerotech office park. One of the companies based there was Autosex Security Services. Autosex. They were holding a public demonstration of the technology behind their safe rooms. If I'm not mistaken, that door is the exact same one being showcased that day. And if it is, I'm almost certain that I can get into it. Well, thank God you're not mistaken then. Why don't we go check it out? There might be something valuable in there. Better be a fucking P90. It looks to be goodbye now, my friend. Everything turned out okay in the end, huh? Yeah, I guess. If there's nothing else, Pattinson and I have words to exchange and deals to make. What's next for the Wine Waster Gang? It's time to recruit. Up to now, I haven't had much trouble finding people willing to join. Let's hope that trend continues. If all goes well, we should be up and running again in a matter of weeks. 
Can't wait to kill you in the future. Yep, that'll be a lot of fun. Goodbye. Tell you what, while we're in a generous mood, I say let's not be stingy. It was being pretty demanding back there on the platform, but the ultimate choice of what to do was yours from the start, and you chose to help. I left the crazy fast-firing SMG in my footlocker at the base, but that place is a bit of a hazard area right now. Here, take this machine pistol. It's really satisfying to shoot. Just make sure you control for recoil. Mm. Maybe we'll meet again, but until then, goodbye. Whoa! Yeah, I'm not a fan. No? Seems pretty cool. I want the P90. Hey! What's your name? Cabot! Kit, where's Cabot? Is he talking to people? Cabot, get over here! Open this door! Let me try to access the sun. Yes, 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 yes! P90! 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 Now, if I do this... Yes, that looks good. P90! There's not a P90 can in you, here. Can you just lower your expectations by a lot, please? I'm still do the NCR took back Look at this little toy! <laughs> it's, got, it's got a little shotgun in his hand! <laughs> and a sword? Is that a Chinese sword? <laughs> yeah, he's got a shotgun and a Chinese sword. Oh my god. I I love that. I, don't make much red I want here. that gun you have. Oh my god, can I leave now? Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City. I feel like we would have been better off if I had just murdered everyone. Ah, great. Oh, we have an issue here. Alt! Alt, I say! Hey! Who goes there? Yeah, let's shoot Zach! No, don't shoot me! Hey, just get a hold of yourself. The one on the left, John Cabot. And don't you recognize the other one from earlier? Ah, hmm. Yes, I suppose I do. My apologies. John Cabot, is everything all right? Did they injure you? I'm fine, thanks to our friend's timely assistance. Just a little shaken up. Well, I must say you've done quite well for yourself. We were about to enter, but it seems you managed just fine on your own. Nicely done. So what happened in there? Two gangs were caught in a standoff. They released Cabot in exchange for me brokering a peace. Well, that is remarkable. I was thinking that the friction between them would culminate soon, with now being a prime opportunity for it to boil over. Keeping them off each other's throats like that. You must have quite the silver tongue. Let's just hope they stay off ours as well. Apparently he does. I've run some guards to make sure something like this doesn't happen again, Cabot. As soon as you're ready, we can take you back to base. Now hold on for just a minute. You claim that the Vipers and the Wine Wasters had made peace, correct? If that is the case, then I smell opportunity. You see, the Vipers currently occupy a fortified old pit stop located in the center of the most crucial trading artery in the Mojave, Highway 95. Okay. The Wine Wasters haven't made this easy for them so far. They are currently sieging the compound and have the Vipers sealed inside. The location would be a perfect headquarters for my trading enterprise. I could run the 188 out of business in a matter of months with it. I believe that your actions have opened up the perfect window for me to finally establish control over it. How? They've made a peace with each other. It would be splendid. I'm sure you would agree that the cost of my lost promise should be compensated. This would more than do so. That was your negligence. Why should I help you? The FS Jared Cavan conglomerate suffered a crushing loss because of a risk the client was responsible to control. It's only natural that you do something for me to offset this loss. No. Besides, a victory for Fitzgerald is a victory for the Mojave's prosperity. Uh, no. Surely you wouldn't impoverish the land out of action. Together we can create a brighter future for all. Yes, this is a good idea. I'm curious, though. What is your plan? Now that these bands have resolved to stop roaring, the presumption is that they will be ready to negotiate the lifting of the siege. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both sides have no doubt become exhausted by the war of attrition they have been fighting. To them, the outpost has no doubt brought only pain and suffering. It is quite plausible, then, that they would give it up for a pittance. We are on the cusp of a golden age, my friends. The Major will rise again. Jolly-o, Boolsy. Off we are. I don't like that guy. Wait! Fix, that building's not going anywhere. Uh, we'll be waiting at the location. Fix won't admit it, but he'll pay you if you help him. Oh. Okay. Bye! We're in the middle of a time travel quest, but okay. So, uh, Mr. Cabot, we're ready to go when you are. Ah, uh, yes, of course. We can go immediately. It will take some time for me to complete the machine from here. Perhaps you should look into FSJL's proposal while I work. Ugh. I'll see you soon. Or we could just go to a firing range. All right. Bye. <laughs> and they're getting shot <laughs> immediately. Lovely. <laughs> hey, maybe if we're lucky, Fix Gerald will die before he makes it there. Oh, that would be nice. That'd be that'd be pretty good, right? 
Bum 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 b